When you're modeling and evaluating multiple iterations of a design of CAD and CA tools, it's often a slow manual process. Computational design of NTOP is an alternative approach that allows you to iterate quickly. Let's take a look at an example. So we have this fuselage panel, and our goal here is to infill this region with ribs to help improve its structural integrity. And to do this, we can create a reusable parametric workflow, which we which where we can add ribs to the B side of this panel, which then we can run a simulation to see the resulting performance. Now, what makes this really valuable is that I'm able to iterate by changing the parameters within my workflow to control my design. So I'm gonna turn on my final panel here real quick. And you'll notice that I currently have it set as the triangular ISO grids. Let's, current, let's change that to hexagonal. And by changing that input, I'll get my design instantly. And because we included our simulation in our workflow, it's gonna automatically rerun. And maybe in around like 30, 40 seconds, it's gonna give our new result which I can then take and compare with my first iteration. And what you're seeing here, everything is live. I'm not cutting my video or anything. And I can also pull up the logs to show you that all of these operations, when I change that parameter, it tells me how long each of these operations took. So currently our intact stress, our partnership with intact solutions is running. It's going to eventually finish. There you go. Only took about 40 seconds which we can then turn on and get our result over here. Now with this computational design workflow, we can run through multiple parameters, generate multiple iterations, and we can then compare all those iterations to find our optimal design. Before I finish off, I do wanna show you one more thing. We can apply the same workflow to other panels in our assembly. So let's say for example, I have this left panel that I also want to apply these ribbings on. I can simply take that input, currently because we have it set as the bottom left panel, I can set it as just the left panel. Let's turn on our final input panel over here, and it's gonna apply that same ribbing pattern onto our side panels as well.